Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am 18 weeks pregnant and baby is the size of a bell pepper or as you're about to see in my bump picture eventually, <laughs> baby is the size of a croissant. And this is the last pregnancy update that I will do where I don't know baby's gender. Let me just take a minute because I'm so excited <laughs> and it's going to be so hard next week not to spill the beans and call baby he or her whenever I do my next pregnancy update. It's going to be so hard. <laughs> Symptoms this week because you guys already know that that's where I start. And there's kind of a list, so I apologize for this beforehand. I'm going to go ahead and start with this one because you all know it's coming. I know it's coming, so might as well. Yes, I'm still struggling with heartburn. I think that's all that needs to be said. And the only reason I keep including it is because it's still a symptom I'm dealing with. And, I mean, it's still a symptom. So, yeah, it's going to be included probably from now until I deliver. But, yeah, still dealing with it. The hormones this week, you guys. Whoa! Yeah. Uh, top notch. I have experienced every mood swing under the sun this week. I've gone from, oh my gosh, I hate being pregnant. I can't wait to have this baby. To, oh my gosh, I love being pregnant. I could have one more. I just can't deal. I can't deal with these pregnancy hormones. They're making me crazy. As I've said before in other pregnancy vlogs, which I'm sure you guys have seen, I just don't get emotional. I'm just not one of those emotional pregnant women that experience a lot of mood swings. But this baby, oh my gosh. So that's something I'm dealing with this week and it's not fun and it's really hard because I go from crying to being so happy in like a few hours. What is that? <laughs> The next two symptoms I'm going to uh, put together because they kind of go together. Pregnancy nightmares. Holy cow. I'm having some crazy pregnancy nightmares. Like really vivid too. Like I'll wake up and I'm like, where am I? Am I at my home? Am I okay? You know, like feel your surroundings to make sure that this is reality. Those kind of pregnancy nightmares where it's like, holy cow, <laughs> that is insane. And because I'm nightmaring a lot, I'm waking up a lot. So I'm not sleeping very well. So because I'm not sleeping very well, the fatigue is back but it's due to sleeping issues. I've never experienced in this pregnancy the fatigue that is just knock you off your feet. I wanna sleep in the middle of the day for absolutely no reason because I'm still sleeping through the night. Still never experienced that fatigue, thank heaven, because I can deal with the nausea, I can deal with most pregnancy symptoms, except the mood swings because man, that is just hard. But I can deal with pregnancy symptoms pretty easy, but that one, the fatigue, is really, really hard because you can't function if you're that tired. But I'm really tired this week because I'm not sleeping well because these pregnancy nightmares are wow. My pubic bone still hurts, but not as bad as last week. It's not as intense. It's a little bit more mild, but I mean, it still aches a little bit. I'm also having mild sciatic pain, but I only experience it if I'm sitting on the floor. Like I've been trying to not be as strict on bed rest this week because I'm not bleeding like at all. So I've not been as strict about it and I've been sitting on the floor and playing with the girls a lot. And if I sit too long, my sciatic nerve will kind of get aggravated. But it's really mild, and as long as I stretch it out, I'm fine. But just, just wait, just wait. When I'm in my third trimester, you guys are going to hear me complain about it a lot. So it's coming, I promise. For the first time in this pregnancy, I am having horrible skin. Like, do you guys see, like, you probably don't. Yeah, you see my skin, how it's kind of breaking out. Yeah, uh, that's the first time this pregnancy that I'm starting to get not so great skin. But at least I'm experiencing it now at 18 weeks instead of the girls where I was experiencing it in like my first trimester. <laughs> yeah, it was really bad with the girls. I constantly look like a teenager. But with this baby, I'm 18 weeks and I'm just now starting to get some spots. So it's not like the end of the world. I am feeling so bloated at night. I mean, I know it's normal for everybody to get bloated at night because your body has gone all day eating. So you do kind of get bloated at night, but when you're pregnant, it's kind of worse because <laughs> you go from feeling, oh, I'm tiny pregnant to, oh my gosh, I'm a whale. That's kind of what I experience. I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, look at my tiny bump. And then I get to like seven o'clock at night and I'm like, oh my gosh, look how huge I am. <laughs> Cravings this week. I am craving a Coke really bad really really bad i don't know why i'm craving coke so bad but i am and um i think while we go grocery shopping tonight speaking of i'm gonna do a grocery haul so be on the lookout for that video i've always wanted to do a haul video ha 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 get it get it anyway i've always wanted to do one of these videos so i'm gonna do one whenever we grocery shop so watch out for it but we're going grocery shopping tonight 
and I really badly want a Coke, so I might just get me one. <laughs> weight gain this week, since I always update you guys on my weight. Last week I was 155, I finally gained a pound, and I'm 156. I also felt baby's first real kick this week. It was on Thursday, and I was laying there on the couch, and I felt something like a muscle spasm. But if you're watching this and you're not a first time mom, you know what I mean, it's not a muscle spasm. Your muscle's not moving, and it's a lot stronger than that. Yeah, that. I felt baby's first real kick on Thursday, and then Friday I was sitting up, and I was just minding my own business, and baby kicked again, and it was more like rhythmic. So I wanted to think that baby was having like hiccups or something, but I'm like, well, I'm only 18 weeks. I don't know if you can actually feel that at 18 weeks. So maybe baby's just kicking kind of, you know, rhythmically for a couple minutes. But I felt baby kick, and it was really exciting because I know that I'm so close to feeling really good, big movement. I'm so close, and I can't wait to film my first ever video of baby moving around and show it to you guys. In other news, for those of you who are not subscribed to my channel and you don't know this yet, Devin and I find out what we are having this Wednesday. I'm so excited. I'm counting down the days. If you don't follow me on social media, all of my links are down there because I'm doing a countdown now and I'm just so excited. I can't wait. I just can't wait to find out what we're having. And this ultrasound is actually being performed by the high risk doctor. Uh, he wanted to wait until my anatomy scan to get a really good high def ultrasound of everything. He'll look at my placenta, he'll look at baby, he'll look at baby's heart. He will look at everything. And if everything checks out, I will just go back to my regular OB doctor. But if something doesn't check out, I will continue seeing him. Leave me a comment down below in the comments. I want to hear from everybody. What do you think that we are having, boy or girl? I really, really want to know. I just really like seeing everybody else's opinions. So make sure you leave me a comment because I'm really interested in knowing. As far as what me and Devin are hoping for, uh, Devin is hoping for a boy and I'm just hoping for a healthy baby. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, my gut wants to say boy and I want to get confident that it's a boy, but I don't want to because when I was pregnant with McKinley, I got confident and I was so sure that she was a boy. We got to my anatomy scan and when I found out that she was a girl, please don't judge me, but it's very real. Gender disappointment is very real. When we went back to the car, I bawled my eyes out and here's Devin driving trying to comfort me and like it's okay honey it really is we're having a girl yeah that I mean I got over it I love her to death I couldn't imagine her being anything other than what she is I love McKinley don't get me wrong but just for that brief time after her anatomy scan, I was so heartbroken that she was a girl. And I don't want to experience that again. I just want to take it as it comes and be happy for whatever it is that we're having, boy or girl. But I want to say that I'm having a boy because this pregnancy is just so outrageously different <laughs> and I'm not gaining a whole bunch of weight like I did with my girls and there's just so many symptoms that I didn't have with my girls that I'm having with this one. But, I mean, you really can't go by that. Um, every pregnancy is different. Every baby is different. So I'm just trying really hard to stay kind of neutral. Even though I want to say I'm having a boy, it's so hard. But I'm trying so hard to be neutral. I will be shooting our gender slash name reveal video not the weekend after the anatomy scan. So not next weekend, but the weekend after that. So share this video, like it, show it to your mom or your sisters or your friends, I don't care. I just really, really want this video to go well and for you guys to like it and for you guys to be excited with us and for us. I just really want so badly for this to be a success. I love my subscribers, I love you guys, and I love the community that I'm building here on my channel. And I just cannot wait to shoot this video and to share my excitement with you guys. And to finally call baby a name. I'm just so excited to call baby by its name. I know you guys are excited because I've seen your comments, but I just can't wait. Now I'm going to show you guys a belly shot. This will be the last week where I show you guys a picture instead of standing up and showing you my belly because my bleeding has really, really, really decreased and I would just rather stand up and show you guys my belly instead of a picture. But this is this week's bump shot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow all my social media. The links are down below in the description bar so you can be on Baby Watch. I'm not going to announce the gender on my social media, but you guys will know that I know what Baby is because I will make an announcement. It just won't be gender specific. I'll just tell you guys that I know. Be sure to share this video and help me get the word out that a very exciting gender announcement is coming and I really hope that it goes well and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. And I will see you guys on Monday. Bye.